So this is the double cube and it features two three by threes that are joined together by a block here, by an edge piece and two corner pieces. And I often have these at my stalls and I'm quite surprised at the lack of people who can solve it. So I thought I'd make a tutorial on how to solve it. So I'll mess it up and then explain how to solve it. Obviously, I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, then you like have a good understanding of basic CFOP at the bare minimum. Otherwise, if, like, if you don't know how to solve a 3x3, three three, then there's no way you're going to solve two 3x3s three three joined together. I think one major problem today is that most cubers are white or yellow cross only solvers. And obviously I could have made this double cube joined together on a white edge, but I didn't. It's not technically my fault. It's the first one I tried was green red, so I just went with that and made all of them like that that I've ever made. Um, if you try and solve a white cross, you're going to have loads and loads of trouble because it's just not what you're supposed to do. So what you are actually supposed to do is this green red edge, okay, is solved. But we don't know what cube it's solved on because the orange blue edge of another cube has been removed. So we have to have a look and count the number of green or red edges on each cube. So if we go on here, we can see, okay, one, two, three, four. So there are four green edges. So this cube must be the cube that had one of the orange or blue edges removed. And this cube must be the one that still has the green red edge. And we can count one, two, three. So there are still three edge, three green edges. And I'm sure one, two, three, we could find there are only three red edges on this top cube here. So what we need to do is we need to solve the red cross. And obviously the red green cross piece is already solved. So we could put the center in and then we're going to have to do some slightly different stuff because we can't just do F, uh, oh, we need to do that. So we can't just do F2 to insert it. We have to move it up first so that we can do U2 and then put it back in. And then we've got that edge solved. So you, you're gonna have to do a bit of like extra moves for things. So here we have the white red edge and we can take it up to the top make sure to align this correctly and then of course we can't just do f2 like normal we have to do um wide r, -R u2 and then put it back in then we've got the red blue we can't just do f -E f r prime like we would usually do we have to do move this up first and then do u R prime, U prime, wide R. And then that gets us the cross solved. Okay, so now we're gonna have to do pseudo slotting. Time and Kolosinski's favorite thing that's made him so good at three by three until the young one beat him. Right, so because we can't do the normal algorithm to insert these two pairs, we have to take them out and do pseudo slotting. And we have to make sure that we get these in the right place. So here we have the green yellow edge and we can insert that like that and put it back. Green white edge can also be inserted the same way. Sometimes it will be inserted the other way up and you'll have to do a wide U2 and insert it in like that if it's the other way around. Once you've done that, you may think, okay, well, there's just two easy, easy pairs here. But obviously the normal algorithms still aren't gonna quite work the same way. So of course we can do normal F2L or just normal beginner's method. We can insert this edge and then we can insert this, this edge like that. Um, then we have this, but we can't just do the normal algorithm because F moves don't work. So we have to use a different F2L insert. 
which you may know if you are experienced with F2L, you'll know that you can do a wide R move and then U R U prime R prime wide M. That's just another F2L algorithm. So the same thing on the left here, we have this piece here and we're going to do, we're going to take it out and we can't just take it out in the normal way. So we're going to have to do something like that and insert it back in. And then we can do the same thing here. We could do wide L U prime L U M. Okay. So now we have this case and you think, great, we've got a really easy OLL, except you can't do an F move. So what do you do instead? Well, hopefully you know enough about cubing to know that if you do um, M U M U M U M U two M U M U M U M, it flips two edges. So you could set up into that. And then you have the second part of two look OLL. And you have to do soons because you can't do anything else really. You just have to do soons. And whether that's back soons or any other type of soon, if you know CLL, then you would of course know that algorithm for that. But otherwise, just do regular soons. And you're always going to get an EPLL. It's not possible for you not to get one. So in this case, we have a U perm, and we can just do the regular R U U perm. M move, M slice PLLs also work. You can do an H perm like that. You just can't really do any other PLL. The second cube is solved pretty much the exact same way. You have to focus on the opposites. So we're solving an orange cross because orange is now at the bottom. I could of course do blue as well, but I'm doing orange at the moment. So we find the three orange edges, orange green, then we take that out and insert orange white, just the same way. And then orange yellow, just like that. Then the exact same thing, we do pseudo slotting. And then we have this, we have to take that out. We have to insert it in that way. And then we have that blue block there. Then the same thing, we can try and do F2L, but we have to be a bit different and be willing to use inserts like that, as I explained previously. You'd want to do F, F prime, U prime, F here, but you can't. So you have to insert it like that and then do that. And then you're left with OLL. And obviously the regular OLL for this case wouldn't work. So you have to do two look and you can do, obviously like you can just do a suit now and then do two look. In fact, you can even do that. But yes, it's pretty much the same thing for the second cube. Some OLLs that you might know do actually work. For example, that works, but many of them don't. And you have to do um, that sort of stuff. Or that sort of stuff. Anything that just involves R wide, M, R, and U moves, because you cannot do F or D moves, or, well, you sort of, well, you can do L moves from the other side. So, yep, yeah, that is how you solve the double cube V1, and the techniques from this can play over to other double cubes, such as the w, double cube V2, and even my 5x5 double cube, which you can buy at speedcubing.org. Ultimately, this is pr pretty easy mod to make if you like modding, or you can just buy one off me at speedcubing.org. It, it turns pretty well. It's based on a cheap 3x3. 
and it's not actually that difficult to solve, so I'd recommend giving it a try.